For the past seven days, I've woken up with a smile knowing that one day I can legally get married. And it's been amazing feeling as though that the fact that my love is no different than everyone else's is recognized. And despite the fact that there's been such a positive response to the Supreme Court's decision to legalize marriage equality, there's been an underlying current of negativity flowing across the internet, and I wanted to address it. There's been a lot of people spreading hate and arguing about various images used to depict our overcoming adversity. There's been fighting over public officials who have not been doing their job, and, you know, giving out marriage certificates. There's been a lot of news about increased uh, hate crimes, and, and it can be very discouraging to listen to all of this stuff. But I just wanted to tell the LGBTQ community and its allies that just because there is negativity, that should not detract us from the trajectory that we're on. The most common thing that I have seen across the internet is that people have been compl comparing different social causes and discriminations and basically saying that the LGBTQ community has not had to fight for their rights, so they don't deserve these rights. They haven't had to fight harder than we have had to fight. They haven't had to go through what we have gone through in order to earn these rights. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, why should we have to earn these rights? Aren't these basic human rights? To be with someone we love? I feel like that is a basic human right. It is a basic human right, actually. I think it's very invalidating for people to compare different social causes and different forms of discrimination because there are so many different forms of discrimination. There are so many different social causes that we shouldn't trump on another person's social cause because we may disagree with it or because we feel as though they have gone through different experiences. The LGBTQ community has fought for this for a long time. There have been people who have died for it, too. Hate crimes, people being activists, dying for this cause. Social causes should not be a contest as to who has been discriminated the most. We should acknowledge and respect our different social causes and our different identities and help empower each other. Of course, a lot of people have been using Christianity as a means to invalidate the LGBTQ community. While I accept and acknowledge that there are people who disagree with homosexuality, it's okay if they disagree, they're entitled to their opinion, I am more worried about the people who disagree, who use their religion as a vehicle for hatred. There's been a lot of people spewing slurs and saying that God created man and woman, not man and man, or woman and woman, and God created marriage. And in the back of my mind, I usually think, I'm like, but didn't God create love? Isn't God love? I feel like God and care about me for who I am because I have the ability to love. I want to share this loving heart with someone else who has a loving heart, and I want to create joy and good. And I feel like that is a good thing. Sexual orientation shouldn't detract love because I love with the same conviction and passion that anyone else does. When that dream guy walks by me, I lose my breath. I want to be around him all the time. I dream about being with him, being married with him. I would even give up my life for him. That's no different than anyone else's rendition of love. Like, love is love. There is no variation. I always try to think about why people use their religion as a means for hate, and I sincerely believe that it stems from an insecurity within themselves. Either they don't love themselves, or they feel as though they do not have a good relationship with their religious conviction. And for those of you who are spreading hate using the, your religion, I encourage you to examine how you're using your religion. I encourage you to introspect and be like, why am I being so hateful toward people who simply want to love and to have that love be accepted and acknowledged as being an equal love to everyone else's? And you know what? I refuse to be discouraged by this hatred. I am so happy, and I know one day I will find the guy that I'm meant to be with, and I will get married, and I will create a joyous relationship, and I will share my heart with this person. If you guys like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, and if you have a person who is struggling with hate, 
regarding their religion, please share this video with them because I want them to realize that religion shouldn't be used as a tool for hate. It should be used as a tool to spread love, to create understanding, and open-mindedness. Thank you guys for listening. I love you all.